Hi, I'm Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to be showing you how to set the home position to exactly zero, which is the same for the Q3X or the Q3D controller. Okay, for the first step, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the machine to the home position. Next, I'm going to, built into the Q3X and the Q3D is a pre-programmed job. And it's in the test menu, so I press toggle, confirm, and on the Q3D it's number two, it's run job. And number two is the two by two with a plus. So I'm going to press number two, and it will go into the pause mode. Now, I've already preset the cutter, so my distance and my cutter extension is all already preset. So all I need to do now is just press the start button. Now I'm going to move the head out of the way so that we can measure this. But this dimension is supposed to be one inch from the top to the, to the horizontal line and one inch from the x-axis to the vertical line. So let's go ahead and measure it. I have an x value of 0.94. It's best to write it down and a y value of 0.78. So what that tells me is that the home position or the, the reset position is off the table or off the corner. So I need to add to whatever my, my values are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go toggle 1 and go to my back offs, which is the number 4. And right now my X back off is 0 .060. Now I know that from the dimension I just put down, it's 0.94, so I need to add 60 thousandths to it. So it's 060, so it's going to end up being 0 .120. So I press the number 1. I like to put some leading zeros in. 1, 2, 0, and enter. And the Y value, this one's a little bit trickier, is I need 0.22 inches to get it out to 1 inch, plus I have the 0 0.06, so I need to make that 0.28 as my value. So I'm going to press the number 2, a couple of leading zeros, 280 and enter. Press enter again to get out of the menu a couple of times. And now I'm going to press reset. This is a real important function to press the reset because the numbers we just typed in, that's when they're implemented. So now all I need to do is, since the job is still in memory, is just hit the start button to rerun it. So let's see how I did. If you don't have one of these fancy digitals, certainly a scale will also work. So I'm going to measure from the x-axis, and sure enough, I'm at exactly one inch. And then on the y-axis, I can see that now the horizontal line is also at one inch. So. The most important thing to do is have some good measuring equipment. Make sure that you reset it to home when you start the job. After you've changed your entries, reset it again. If you need to do some fine tuning, now the numbers will be much smaller that you're going to be changing it. These were pretty, pretty much gross error.